This video will provide an overview of step four on the road to becoming accredited at Proficient. And step four is annotating the evidence. This is one of the biggest steps in the process. Step three, I spoke to you about writing an evidence cover sheet and ensuring that that evidence cover sheet was detailed, that it included links, specific links to the standard descriptors, it included links to the evidence itself and the impact on student learning. Once that's done, you can then go to your pieces of evidence and clearly annotate on the evidence where the standard descriptors are being met or satisfied. Now, in one of the previous videos, I explained to you a good strategy to use is to, is to place post-it notes on the actual points on the evidence and write on the post-it notes exactly which descriptor is being met and write a little uh, overview of how it's been met. If you've done that, then that makes the annotating part at this point very easy. So annotating the evidence, you may use an online program such as Preview on Mac or Adobe Reader to annotate electronically. I encourage you to do this because it makes it very easy if you do happen to make a mistake. To do this, you need to scan all the evidence item first and then open them in your desired program to annotate. You can annotate your evidence items physically, that is by cutting out pieces of paper and pasting them on, but it can become a time-consuming process, particularly if you make mistakes. And when it gets time to submit your evidence for proofreading, it can be a very difficult thing to have to go back and change that. So I encourage you to get your head around using some of these uh, electronic annotation tools because it will make your life a lot easier. You can see in the image there's a screenshot of Preview which you can use on a Mac and you can see that there's a markup symbol there on the screen with the arrow pointed to it. That's the markup toolkit. Now once you click on that it will then bring up all of the tools that you can use to annotate including adding text boxes and uh, arrows and things like that and you can also do digital signatures as well which makes it very easy when you need to date and sign every single page. So I encourage you to use Preview. Preview is a very easy tool to use but Adobe Reader is also quite easy to use as well. So annotating really is pointing out specifically how your evidence meets the standards and you can see on the screen there's an evidence of an assessment task that has been submitted as a piece of evidence and you can see that the person has clearly outlined uh, or has arrows pointing to the parts that meet that particular standard descriptor and you can see there's a text box that explains what's happening there ICT integrated to engage students in the task now let's have a look at standard a little bit closer at the standard descriptor and you can see that the arrows are pointing to two parts you can see it relates to ICT, they're talking about a Google Doc, and they're also talking about using Google Sheets to create graphs and so on. If you have a look at the actual standard descriptor, you can see that the standard descriptor says select and or create and use a range of resources including ICT to engage students in their learning. You can see that they've used some of the language from the descriptor and they're clearly shown it on the evidence item. You can see in this evidence item that there are a number of standard descriptors that have been satisfied in the one place. Again, it's a matter of highlighting the relevant part inside a text box, using an arrow and pointing directly to the part on the evidence that shows, uh, that matches with it. Here you can see there, there is another piece of evidence with some annotation. You can see that the little description underneath 2.1.2 uh, clearly explains how that part of the evidence item meets that descriptor. Uh, they've used the language of the descriptor, but not word for word, but they've used it and made it contextually relevant to the piece of evidence. At this point in time, it's really important that you use uh, the preview tool or the Adobe Reader tool to help you to create a, a space for the supervisor to sign and the teacher to sign, the new scheme teacher, and date. Doing this now at this point in time while you do the annotations is very helpful and useful because every page in your evidence needs to be signed and dated by both the new scheme teacher and the supervisor. 
I hope this was helpful for you. Please stay tuned and listen to the videos that follow to help you to meet the requirements of accreditation and proficient. Thank you.